Hello and welcome back everybody. In this video I'm going to show you how to set your valve lash on your 2001 to 2010 Duramax. So that includes your LB7s, LLYs, LBZs and LMLs. So come along and we'll get it done. To set valves on a Duramax, first off you have, well you gotta pull the valve covers, but once you have those off you gotta find the timing marks on the balancer and on the timing cover. So on the balancer, there is a little notch. I've already marked it with a paint marker on this one. So there's a notch there. And then the mark that it got gets lined up to is a tab right there with another little notch. So after you found your timing marks and have the mark, you have to line them up. To do that, you go on the balancer bolt which is an inch and 7 16 12 point or a 36 millimeter 12 point but if you have all your injectors out and you're doing this with the cab on then you can just use some channel locks and grab onto the bolt you're not going to wreck it because it's going to spin over easy and then you have to line these timing marks up so there we got the timing marks line up and now we go up top and check the valves out so once you got your timing marks lined up, you gotta determine whether it's on top dead center on number one compression stroke or top dead center on cylinder four compression stroke. So the way you can do that is just feel the valves. So if it's on number four top dead center, this intake valve will be loose on cylinder two, which it is. This exhaust valve is tight and you can see that this exhaust valve is higher, so that is coming up or going down. But this one is low, so that's loose and can be adjusted. So on cylinder four, top dead center, you can do the intake on two, both valves on cylinder four, the exhaust valve on six, and the intake valve, which is back here, on eight. So it is that layout right there. So just to recap what you can do at cylinder four on top dead center, you can adjust the intake valve on number two, both valves on cylinder four, the exhaust valve on cylinder six, and the intake valve on cylinder eight. You can also adjust the exhaust valve on cylinder three, the exhaust valve on cylinder five, and the intake valve on cylinder seven on the passenger side of the engine. So let's get those done, and then we can turn the engine again and bring it up to compression stroke on number one top dead center and then we can uh, adjust the rest of the valves. Now the adjustment for these is 12 thou intake and exhaust. To adjust these what you want to do is take a 14 millimeter wrench, crack the nut loose, put a flat screwdriver in here, open it up, like back it off so then the valve is even looser. Then you take your 12 thou feeler gauge, slide it in between the br rocker bridge and the rocker arm, and then slowly tighten the screw while moving this back and forth until you have a slight drag on the feeler gauge. So right like that. And then to tighten it up, Take your 14 mil wrench again, put it on, put your screwdriver in to hold, hold the set screw in place, then tighten the nut up. So we got a slight drag on that still. And then I like to take a paint marker and just mark the top. So we know which ones we've done already. Now we just have to set the rest of the ones on this side that we can right now. There, this half of the valves is done. Now you have to go back under and turn the balancer one full revolution. So 180 degrees to line up the timing marks again. And then you can set the other half of the valves. So 
So now once they're all adjusted, uh, you're supposed to rotate the crankshaft a couple revolutions and that'll just set everything and then recheck the valves. So once you do that, you can put everything back together and yeah, you're, you're good to go. You shouldn't, uh, shouldn't have to touch them again unless you have the rockers off for some reason. If you're doing head gaskets, if you're doing an engine rebuild or if a rocker breaks or something like that, which I haven't seen on a Duramax, but it, it will happen sometimes. So yeah, hope you enjoy this video and find it, um, find it informational and hopefully it'll help you out on setting your valve lash on a Duramax. Thank you and we'll talk to you later. Mm -hmm.